have in front of me here a smart 60 centimeter satellite dish. Um, the, the basic components are the satellite uh, dish itself, uh, which is especially uh, painted. Uh, we have the um, dish um, uh, elevation bracket. We also have the dish bracket itself and the dish arm. The special uh, things to note about these is they're made from a high um, grade uh, plastic which makes them extremely resistant to wear and ideal for seaside locations. Uh, and finally, we've, we also have a bracket uh, to allow the dish to be mounted onto a wall. So I'm just, uh, the only uh, part of this dish that we don't um, provide as part of the, the satellite dish kit is the LNB. Uh, and that's to allow customers to choose from a range with a single LNB here which is also made by Smart, um, a twin LMB, uh, a four-way quad LMB, and also indeed an, uh, a quattro LMB, which also can uh, be used with this thing in conjunction with a multi-switch. So I'll quickly go through the assembly of the dish. The first thing I'll do is I'll um, put the LMB onto the dish. So all I do is here, I simply slide in the LMB like this. I pick up this. And in terms of the tools that I need for this assembly process, uh, I need a Phillips screwdriver and then I can use a choice of either a ratchet and a 10 millimeter socket or a 10 millimeter spanner like this. Um, so I just pick up the Phillips screwdriver and I screw it in like this. You can see it's a very quick assembly step and that's it, they are entirely assembled. Okay. The next thing I'll do is I'm simply going to turn over this uh, satellite dish. So I'm just going to show you here, uh, there's four bolts to go to hold this bracket on. So what we need to do is we need to simply drop that bolt and in, nut in there. And you can see when the nut is dropped in, there's two slots either side that hold the nut into location, which will make it extremely um, convenient when we're uh, screwing in these nuts. So what we need to do now is we need to simply come along, put this nut here into the position that we want, line it up with the hole, uh, which is here. And now all we do is we push down and I just start off the nut turning up with my finger here. Okay. So at this point, I'll just turn up the thing. I still have this held, and I tighten the nut tightly uh, using my finger, like that. So you can see the first nut is securely locked into position now. So of course, normally I put in all four nuts here, but um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll simply repeat the process in the top corner here, where we've slotted in a nut there, I slide it into position to line up with the hole. I pick up yet another one of these um, bolts, I shove it through from the front, I put my finger on top of the nut and twist it like this and it's just a matter of, of the, nut, the, the nut, nut bolt actually catching and now we can just rota rota mainly hand tighten it in but for the final turn I simply once again pick up the Phillips screwdriver and give it an additional turn. Okay the next step I'll actually come along and I'll put on the elevation bracket. So um, first thing is to put on these arms. I've partly assembled this already. What I do is I just get this bolt here, new bolt, and I slot it through. So this is what's actually going to wrap around the, um, the actual bracket that will be mounted on the wall to hold the dish up. And now I come along and I pick up uh, a washer uh, and uh, yet again another 10 millimeter nut. All the nuts in this set are actually 10 millimeter, which makes the assembly of it extremely uh, convenient. And we slide it on like this. That's it, and the next step is actually to bolt this onto the dish here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll just slide it on like this, uh, slide it in. I normally have it just so that the arc symbol, which is on the side of the bracket, is visible on the bottom part of the dish. But I'm not actually certain if, if, it, if it makes any difference in terms of the assembly of the thing. So we come along now, and we um, slap this nut through, like the, our bolt through like this, and I pick up a nut and a bolt on the far side. And once again, I hand tighten it most of the way. I repeat the process for the bottom hole. Slot the ball through. Put it in. And I repeat the process here. At this stage, I can once again pick up the socket. We don't want to uh, tighten this nuts rock solid at this point. We want to be able to um, uh, change the, the elevation of the dish until we actually have it aligned and then do a final locking into position afterwards. Uh, and the final step of this is just for demonstration purposes, I'll just twist it like this and I'll just show you uh, what the bracket that we have over here. Uh, oh yeah, what we need to do first is to turn on the, the arm here. This is such a deep, probably an incredibly easy part of the process. What we do is we actually just shove the arm directly in like this. And there's two different plastic clips that clip out here automatically and lock it into position. So that's it. So that's the dish fully assembled. And I'll just bring it over to this point here. 
Um, you just drop it on, and now you just simply use your 10 millimeter spanner or socket to actually lock that into position, and then you can finally uh, adjust the dish to its final position. So, so you'll see here the smart 60 centimeter uh, solid satellite dish uh, uh, installed, in this case on a T and K bracket. Normally, obviously, would install it on the ordinary bracket that comes with a uh, comes with the satellite dish. Um, so. The, the, the dish is pointed towards the Astro 2 satellite, and we're using a smart quad LMB and actually have four cables running inside. So as you can see, this is a very robust uh, satellite dish, ideal for all uses really with free to air, uh, but particularly, as I had mentioned earlier, uh, in areas where uh, close to the sea where uh, uh, corrosion of the dish from uh, salty air can be a problem. And uh, in particular, that normally affects uh, the arm and also the, the back of the satellite dish, both of which are made from plastic. Uh, but the next uh, um, uh, step now is to actually go down inside and check what type of quali quality we're getting off the satellite dish in terms of uh, signal strength and signal quality. And finally, to verify the, the signal coming off of the smart 60 centimeter universal dish, uh, we have a, we have a, a skybox that's running in free to air mode that's uh, connected to the, um, the dish outside. And here, we, I think we're looking at BBC2. So I'll, I'll actually test the signal strength itself. So it's services, and then go about option four, which is system setup, and six, which is signal strength, or signal uh, test. So we can see that signal strength is at 85% actually jumped there to 90 and signal quality is in the 90s as well so that's a very very strong signal anything about 50 percent should actually work fine and if you do a direct comparison between the signal strength coming off the smart dish outside and uh, a sky satellite dish you'll actually find that the signal strength uh, of the smart dish is actually um, higher um, so in summary let's say the, um, the smart six center dish is a very robust dish it's ideal for um, use in seaside areas uh, where um, uh, corrosion caused by salty wind is a real problem them. Um, the one advantage I suppose that Skydish would have over it is it's more commonly used in the marketplace uh, and also the fact that it's perforated um, in windy conditions it can be somewhat more stable but in general we'll say something like this the smart dish is quite a reliable dish. Um, so that's it in summary uh, the assembly and the, the over, an overview of uh, um, the smart 60 centimeter dish.